Hey, what's up? Tonight we're going to talk about college debt. Fun subject, right? Let me first say that I do not sympathize and I really can't relate to people with massive amounts of college debt. Why? Because I don't have any. I have the GI Bill. It's great. Um, but let's get down to it, though. You took the loan out under the condition that you will repay it. So why should the federal government bail you out and by that extension the taxpayers bail you out people who decide not to go to college never went to college people who have paid off their student debts or people who have found other ways to pay for their school it's not fair to pass your responsibility on to them and let's be really honest if you're really stellar academically if you can you know there's grants there's tons of financial aid out there College can be free if you work on it, but a lot of people are lazy and they just rather take out loans. Um, and I understand that the payments are a pain, and I got that. Maybe there's something they could do to you know reduce the interest rates or you know, work out smaller payment plans. And I would be understandable with that. I would be completely fine to support it. But I'm not going to sit here and support you know the taxpayers of this country taking on you know an additional one point you know nine trillion dollars of debt because you made a bad decision. Um, it's there's tons of information about like degree to employment ratio um, unless you've been living under a rock and it's been stated multiple times like not every degree guarantees a job and a lot of these liberal arts degrees or you know philosophy degrees are sound pretty cool the classes are fun but they really don't translate into a job you're gonna have to have other skills to make yourself marketable now as a four-year degree a good thing? Absolutely to have. Absolutely. Uh, it sets you apart from other applicants, and a lot of jobs require them, unfortunately. But your degree in underwater basket weaving, which we call it in the Army, is not my responsibility to pay off. Um, there does need to be some counseling that once students enroll in college about future employment op opportunities for the degree they're going into. Not, hey, this is a great idea, you know, you'll love it. It'll be so much fun. Um, I sit in class with all these kids asking what their major is, and it's like gender studies, art history, um, something like that. Now, art history is cool. Um, it, it, there are fun classes, I do enjoy them. Um, but I'm not looking to get my PhD and go work in a museum or come directly back to teaching. So it wouldn't be worth my while to get a major in that. I am getting a minor because it just knocked out a lot of electives and stuff. So it worked out. But back to the point of college debt. You're an adult. Pay your debt off. You know, if you need to, you know, I understand, you know, you might have to correct the payment plan or something like that, but it is ultimately your responsibility and no one else's to pay for your irresponsibility. It's the same thing with everything else, you know. People in this country need to start taking a little responsibility for their actions. Um, I know a guy I was talking to at a bar the other night. He said, "Hey man, I, you know, went to a two-year trade school. I got a job making 65k a year. I think he does some um, electronics or something like that." And uh, he said, "Why should I have to pay for some kid who, you know, took out a loan for a college they never even finished? A lot of people don't even finish college, but they're still stuck with loans." Or you know, someone who majored in something that has absolutely no practical. Uh, application and I completely agree with that and I'm really frankly tired of hearing it and it being a talking point on the campaign trail it does not interest me I have no sympathy for you and that sounds mean but that's real life and a lot of people in college are gonna have a very rude awakening when they get out of college when they find out one people don't care about your opinion okay that wokeness that you know just being a feminist or like all this ultra you know social justice will actually cost you more jobs than get you them. I actually spoke to a human resources person when I was in the Army, and the Army had brought in these people who were basically trying to reform the Army Human Resources Department. I know, like, did not do, you have these great suggestions, the Army didn't do anything about it, but I asked her, I said, what are some things that would make you just instantly not hire somebody? She goes, well, a resume that has a, a lot of really bad grammar on it, um, that, that's not obvious, but she also said that certain degrees will also be a red flag. So a lot of people who major in gender studies, um, a lot of liberal arts things, that 
just were going to be red flag employees. They're going to be the ones that were down in HR crying, complaining all the time. She also said that you know, a lot of recent college graduates are just lazy. They don't want to work. They just want a paycheck and they do as little as possible. That's a quick way to get fired. So, and then I asked her, I said, you know, do you have any sympathy for these kids, you know, with all this college debt and they can't get a job? She goes, well, if they major in something, you know, like underwater basket weaving, as we call it in the Army, I don't. And I don't either. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of the crying, complaining, like, you willingly took a loan out so you could go here. By the way, I go to Winthrop University in Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is the most expensive public school in the state. Tuition is $8,000 a semester. That's just your tuition. I have seen people $120,000 in debt when they graduate. Because it's not just tuition, it's your meal plan, books, your living expenses, uh, on, if you're living on campus, you know, that's a ton of extra money. So you'd think if you were getting into that much debt, you might want to reevaluate your priorities, but that's just me. So that's my rant on college debt.